And the Prophet وسلم, he used to sleep on a mat, like that mat on the floor. Only thing it was made from palm fiber, from dried grass. And that's how he slept, on a dirt floor, with no furniture in his house. And one day, Umar ibn al-Khattab entered the house of the Prophet وسلم, and saw that he was sleeping on a dirt floor. And Umar, he said, Ya Rasulullah, the kings, the emperors, in the earth, in Persia, in Byzantium, in Habas, all over the world, these kings, they are not like you. Oh Rasulullah, you can have better than this. And the Prophet dismissed him and said, they have what they have been given, and I have what I have been given. Raditu billahi rabba. I am pleased with what Allah has given to me and any one of you that says Raditu billahi rabba wa bil islami dina wa bi muhammad rasulullah nabiya Allah will also be pleased The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam never He never wore silk He never wore gold He never dressed arrogantly He never dressed ostentatiously he never walked proud, arrogant. He never appeared in front of people like he was a king or an emperor, even when he was the absolute ruler. One could enter a hall like this, and the Prophet could be sitting among his companions as you were sitting. And it was common for people to look around and want to think he should be sitting up someplace in a chair on a throne like other leaders. He should be wearing some gown of gold. He should be wearing some kind of crown. He should be a man with people around him serving him. But when they came in and they looked around, it was a common question. Who is Muhammad? Where is he? No one could tell who was the Prophet وسلم, among his followers because his clothes and what he ate and where he chose to sit was never different from the other people. You tell me, name one leader in the world that could compare with that.